Welcome to Introduction to Modeling and Sub-Ds in Alias. My name is John Hartigan, and I am part of the Autodesk support team. In this short series, I'll build a simple character with Sub-Ds, and the wire files in the canvas image will be available in the blog. In this video, I'll cover importing a canvas, Sub-D primitives, inserting an edge loop, and transform. So let's get started. I already have layers here for the canvas, so I'll go now to File, Import, Canvas Image, always a new canvas, Go takes me to my pics folder where I have it located and this is going to be a little bit large I want them to be about one grid space which is 100 millimeters so I'm going to select the object transform and we're going to put that scale cube and now we can do proportional scaling from the center and let's place him right at the center that looks good there and then I want to back it off a little bit from the center point because our model is going to be here next I'll go back to the front view and we'll create a sub D box primitive and I'll hit the alt key and select the grid and there's our cube I'm going to increase the Y spans to two because I'd like a center line loop we're going to be modeling this symmetrically rather than just half so with it selected, I'll choose Symmetric Modeling. And uh, now let's try to move some vertices around and get this in shape. There goes the scaling. And now I'll start moving vertices. And then you can see when I select just this vertice here, the one on the other side lights up in blue, indicating it will be moved as well. I'll scale it out a little bit. Now I won't have time to fine tune this the way I would normally, but we're going to get close. And then the wire file that's provided to you at the end will be tuned in better. Okay, that's about as far as I can get right now with what I've got here. So I'm going to insert an edge loop to give us more topology. So I'll go here, select edge loop. Uh, I like to do perpendicular and I like to use edge flow, but I'll show you what happens without using edge flow. You can see that it's really changed the shape. If I put edge flow on, it now considers the, the edge edges around the insert that I've just put in. So now let's, with that selected, I'll transform it and I'm going to flatten that in the Z so they're more horizontal. And I think I'll scale them in a little bit. Let's see, there, and these. Pretty good, and a little bit more. Okay, so the front view looks good. Let's go to the side view. You know, we don't have an image for the side view, so we're going to just make it look right. I think an egg shape is perfect. Let's go to global on that. And oops, no, nope, that's not what I want to do. Oh, and you can see I accidentally had too many vertices selected. Let's go back and grab these, transform, and I'll scale those together. Like that. Let's scale these in a bit. These maybe out a little, and these back in, I think. There we go. So I think we've got our egg shape going pretty well here. Now you can see in just a few minutes, I've gotten the basic shape. Uh, to do this in NURBS would take a considerably longer time, and I can continue to adjust this very quickly. In fact, I normally would, as I said, but for time's sake, we're just going to stop here, and that's our basic shape. In the next video, we'll give this little monster some legs. Thanks for watching. 